Women die too in this war. Yes, they do. Women okay. It's time to try to hunt down Doris Fletcher's theater. Should be around here somewhere in West End still. Um, I then have to do some busy work after we deal with her. Because I took the time to reset my skills. And uh, change a few things around, which meant I had to sit down and rest for one more night. Which then meant that a couple of other people just happened to get sick. So, that's something we're going to deal with. I am really low on blood. Hello, vampire man. Why do we have to fight? We are both vampires, we both dislike the Bruin. But let me drink your blood. Come on, man. We don't need to be enemies. Apparently we do. My heal is pretty good now. Putting the points into it. I got rid of the claw attack, which I'm not really using a lot, which I might regret now, up against this guy. It's most rely on the weapon for him. Because this guy is always resistant to these type of abilities. Okay, well that worked anyway. The perfect cudgel. That's pretty good. Oh, I should pick up this stuff. Find an access to the theater. I guess we're fighting this guy first, though. Oh, and this guy. Jesus, this hurts hard now. Anything that isn't way above my level, I, I wreck pretty badly. But I feel like I still take a lot of damage. Maybe my offense is good enough now that I should just focus on a lot of defense. I can't believe I'm doing this. Hello. Am I? Because it feels like you just got three shots. Can I just walk in around here? Hopefully I'll find an entrance. Gotta be one somewhere, right? I feel like I've gone quite a bit away from it now, though. Ghost travel. Oh, hello. Wait a minute, I've been here before. This doesn't lead to anywhere when I go. Now we're in Whitechapel! This is not where I wanted to go. Why do I find it so hard to navigate the streets of London in this game, honestly? For some reason, I just keep ending up in the wrong place. I don't know why. It shouldn't be this tricky. I mean, it isn't tricky, it just... ...feels like it, somehow. I heard a sound. Yep, hello. Oi! You just get it! Wow, he got one shot. I also got one shot. BAM! So much damage, man. Okay, well I'm going in the right direction now. Hello, you're awfully big. You- hold on a minute, you're a Volt God. Why am I fighting you, friend? Again. We should be fr Ow! We should be friends. What the f- Hmm. Does Doris Fletcher have a bunch of Volt God friends, maybe? Can 
we blink up and around somewhere? That looks blinkable. No? It's locked. It's locked, as always. Hello, friend. Not so much friend, but even a level 27 gets three shots. Oh, dear. That guy's more of an issue. But honestly, I just stun him and then... Bam! 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 Drink. More bams. Bam! Bam! That's a 29. If I was surrounded, it would be a little bit harder, I suspect. Okay, so I can't... I don't know, man. Blink up there? Weird the things I can blink through and the things I can't. Enter. Blink up there? No. Door not open. I'm sort of circling around the side. But now it's like, okay, now I've gone all the way to Whitechapel. Which obviously I'm not supposed to, although hello, corpse. Finding a way to enter usually means, like, find a blink place, but maybe not. Maybe not this time. Yeah, well, it's around there somewhere. God, I hate the noise of those dudes. Bam. Level 28. What about here? Make your way through somehow? No? Ow, 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 ow. Wow, that drained a lot of stamina. That didn't even hit him. Just target him, please. There we go. There we go. That... He took a lot of damage, though. Or he... Well, he both took and dealt a lot of damage. The dead vampire. The Iker's threat. Come on, I pressed select for details. Get me direct to the gun. There we go. Of all the evils and foul skulls I find, the Icor may be the worst. I see. Oh, yeah, it's the. Ugh, that's those disgusting ones. The Icor. Well, that explains it. Icor is the epidemic ones. Skull is the normal ones. Volcard is the big ones, and then no, not Skull. Yeah, Skull is the weird one. Ekon is the normal ones. Oh come on! This was this. Th Surely this was the goddamn theater. No. Let me in. Jonathan's just angry now. He's going to smash everything apart that he can see. There's an open window on the second floor. I should be able to get in through that. There we go. It's locked. Wait, where's the actual window? Aha! How do you know this was open? How did he see that this was open? That's a eagle eye vision, buddy. Huh. 
All right. We are in the theater. Ooh. Whoa! You nations of limits. For in front of you stands the tall queen. You can but lower your head, fit only to smirk at her soil. Can that be Doris Fletcher's voice? Where does it come from? The main stage, of course. Where else would she stand and orate? Stop it with the sliming. I need blood. I'm killing them too fast, I don't get blood anymore. My weapon is too good! I kill their health faster than I kill their stamina, so I never get into a... blood thing. It's kind of actually a serious issue. Be worth trying to swap to having the steak. Wait a minute, can we go around? Uh, not so lovely. This is despicable. I mean, yes, it is, but you do what you need to do. Doris Fletcher. Sappho. Now, I want to... It's one of those cases, right? Where you're in an area and you want to find all the side stuff before you actually find the main stuff, so... Okay. I guess we who went immediately you? here. You who dared enter my realm. Are you here to worship or mock me? I'm here to put an end to the vampire epidemic, Miss Fletcher. Ah, but Doris Fletcher is no more. She was consumed by this putrid flesh that now enshrouds her. You feel anger for what happened to you, but I can help you. I'm a doctor, Miss Fletcher. Doris Fletcher is no more. All that remains are the dreams of the queen she was. And the queen she'll be! Until then, all shall die. For that was her final wish. My blood, I summon thee, my children of the. You have children? I don't like that. This one I should be able to drink from, though. Are you kidding me? No, no, no! Okay, that was a lot of damage, real quick. On the bright side, this means we can now explore more of the theater and find more stuff. Because like I said, I actually didn't want to go in and find her immediately. I was right in the middle of saying I wanted to explore more of everything, and then of course I found her immediately. Mm, tasty. Thirst for blood. See, can I? Let me, let me eat him. Oh yeah, I can do the thing. Did she just disappear into. Okay, I can't really see what's happening, but alright. Bam. Oh, kill. I have to learn to move away. God damn it.
And now I just exited the place. Excellent. But hopefully that means this door is now open. So I can go in through that one. I don't have to jump to the second floor. Oh, I hate it when I accidentally just leave. Go back in. Yes, please. So, these icors are the worst to fight. The poison stuff is really frustrating. But if I properly lock on and dodge enough, it'll be alright, I think. It's locked, alright. Yeah, and I need to go around. It's locked. Tasty! I can't believe I'm doing this. What do you gotta do, buddy? Alright, let's try to kill her again. You killed my father! From two shaves! Alright, Inigo Matoya. She hurts a lot. Alright, well that was surprisingly effective. I summon thee, my children. I really don't have to fight those two. Holy that hello. No, god. Oh okay, I'm stuck. Excellent. I beg you, wait. What? I... I don't want to die. And I did not come to kill you, Miss Fletcher. Will you spare me then? Save this cadaverous carcass of mine. Does your heart beat a little faster now? You fancy me then, Doctor? Uh, no, Miss no. Fletcher. My dead heart will beat. For only one. Ah! Is she pretty? Is she sweet and tender? To me, yes. Ah! I hate her already. I know. And this is partly why you must be destroyed. But you just said. That I did not come here to kill you, yes. But I realize now the threat you embody must be stopped. <sighs> Will I be remembered? Will you? You were Doris Fletcher, the greatest actress of her generation. No one can take that from you. Farewell. Ah! 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 Farewell, Doris. Bravo! So dramatic. I love it. McCullum. How strange I seem to find you whenever I'm inquiring about that skull infestation. I mean you no harm. I'm not here for you. But once I put all the pieces of the puzzle together, I'm sure we'll have a little chat, you and me. Stay away from me, McCullum. You and all your war dogs. That I can't guarantee, Dr. Reed. But I'll let you go. For now. I should probably leave the theater right now. Probably a good idea. <laughs> it's locked, all right. The West End should be safe now. But London is not. It would be wise to benefit from the Ascalon's protection while I continue my research during the Great Hunt. 
Yeah. The West End is safe. Is it going to be the only place safe? Is Ascalon's protecting me? I guess so. Well, we found a bunch of stuff. We dealt with Doris. And then McCullum becomes the main character. I don't know what to think of Doris. I, it's weird that I didn't even have a choice, but I guess sometimes the choice isn't in my hand. She made the choice herself. She looked grotesque. These people want me dead. I need to leave now. That's what I'm doing. Real quick. So Doris just needed to be close to her audience to infect them. Contagion through skin. Very disturbing. Very disturbing. Well, I guess it's time to join the war. But first, busy work. As always. It's... Just wouldn't be a doctor if there wasn't five million people left to go around and individually cure. Because they've managed to get some colds. And even, even, literally, even in the Pembroke Hospital... People of some amount should get sick, and I'm the only one that can fix it, for God's sakes. Oh well. What you gotta do. Even the flu is no match for the Swanborough Cordial.